All right, well, Steph Curry there said there's no panic. We know what we're doing. Whether you think they should be panicked or not, I have to imagine you were at least a little surprised by the outcome last night. You were not, so that was a great question by me. <laughs> have you ever spent a couple of off days in L.A.? You think they just want to go back? That's all. Oh, come on. Clay just wanted to go jump back in the Pacific <laughs> oh, Ocean okay. for a couple days. All That's right. <laughs> no, no, no. no. But, but seriously, if you think about it, A, the Warriors are arrogant, they mm. have holes, and the Clippers don't care. Who they are. I figured out what holes just sounded like yeah, there, but yeah, 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 yeah. You look at your face. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yes, yes. In the but, roster. Yeah, yeah. So, and the Clippers don't care about the Warriors' pedigree. Mm -hmm. They don't care that they are the two-time defending champions and all this other type of stuff. Mm -hmm. Lou Williams and Montrez Harrell and Pat Beverly are dogs, and I say that affectionately. Mm -hmm. So they don't care about any of that other type of stuff. They had nothing to lose. The Warriors' defense has a lot of quote unquote holes in it. Mm -hmm. You're giving up 135 points on your home floor. That's not about Steph Curry missing a lot of shots. It's not about KD's 40 be not being enough. Those are fundamental problems that they have. And when everybody said the words are light years ahead of everybody, I just think that's a misnomer in NBA yeah. history. Mm -hmm. By the third year of your championship run or fourth year, whatever it is, the league is caught up. And I think the league is caught up. They're still better, but the margins are thinner. Yeah, Steph talked about that. They don't have that cushion they used to have before. A younger Andre Iguodala had more spring, could give you a 20-point game. You don't see that. Sean Livingston was automatic off the bench. He would come in, be able to shut guys down, be able to run their offense, and he would chip in eight right. to 12 points. Give you uh, four uh, awkward 11-foot elbow jumpers and, and make them all. Right, yep. and you can say well, Draymond's playing a little bit better than he did during the season. He seems to be in better shape, but that toe problem he had during the regular season, he is not the same basketball player, so they're not as deep. Their defense is not as good. And Steph mentioned it in the press conference. People play them different. People are used to their passing and their speed. So in that third year of trying to repeat, people have gotten used to it. So it's not the shock. And the Clippers, man, this is how they play. This is how Doc Rivers play. You're talking about teams take on the characteristics of their coach. That's how they are. Scrappy. Man, that's Doc Rivers. That was his, that was his whole career. And in a series, Doc Rivers has made this like the 80s, like he played. Clutching. Grabbing and Steph is having a problem with the way that they're defending him. So, man, the Clippers, they, they are a reflection of their head coach and Doc Rivers in the series. You don't think, though, Nick, that this series is going a lot like the regular season went, where some days they bring the intensity, some days they don't, some bring they, some days with a good defense, some days no, they it, don't. It, it is going the way the regular season there's went. No, there's no and, switch that and, they said they were just going to flip. And when unlike, the unlike Vinny, I'm shocked by it. I am, I am shocked by last night. Because what do the great teams in NBA history do? They win those games. Your Pistons that you grew up watching mm -hmm. and they, that went to three straight NBA finals, won two championships. Man, a closeout game five in the first round at home against a, an overmatched opponent. Give me a break. What they, You win these games. And the Warriors, since Kerr has been there, they always win these games. We can count. I, we know... Off the top of your head, their home playoff losses prior to this year. The, the grit and grind Grizzlies stole one. Remember mm -hmm. when he yep. thought, oh, man, Tony right. Allen and then might win that series, yep. and then yep. the Warriors blitzed them three straight. KD and uh, Russ stole game one the year they ended up going up 3-1. The Rockets took game four. game four from them last year en route to tying the series and then going up 3-2 in, in the next game. And then there's three games against LeBron in the finals. The first year in the finals, the overtime game mm -hmm. two, where LeBron was just amazing with no Kyrie and Kevin Love. And then part of game five and game seven, the year the Warriors didn't win the title. That's the entirety of their home playoff losses under Steve Kerr until this year, where it's two games to the Clippers. And in those losses, here's what they have scored for the if you're the Warriors. 90, 93, 102, 97, 99, 89, 92. It's because the other team shut them down defensively. Now, they, they've scored 131 and 121 129. and lost. Well, here's they've allowed 129 and 135 at, in home playoff games to the Clippers. That shocks me. It shocks me. Well, here's the thing. When the Warriors first started out with Steve Curry's head coach, they played a way that the league was not prepared to play. And this is a copycat league. So everybody figured out, okay, we're going to shoot a lot of threes. We're going to mm -hmm. move the ball. And so even when we get blitzed, 
we're not out of games. Like, we can go down 20 in the rhythm of the game. We know we can make a comeback. Teams aren't as afraid of those blitzes anymore. Like, when KD had that dunk and Oracle went crazy, yes. you could tell. They exhaled. They said, we've got the lead. We're going on to the I next round. I thought it was over. The, everybody, but, and, here, and here's why. We are accustomed to the rhythm of a playoff series. Two teams, whether they're evenly matched or not, mm -hmm. there's two teams, and once you can see that both teams have decided who the better team is, the series goes on as such. The problem is the Clippers don't care that they're not the better team, and the Warriors don't care that they're the better team either. That's, that's going to affect everything else from now on. They're getting softened up. I'm not saying they're not going to win the title. I think they're still favorites, but I think you're seeing holes that can affect them later on, whether it's against Houston, Portland, San Antonio, whoever they face down the line. Were you also surprised then that this team couldn't adjust to what the Clippers were doing? Because usually if you're the Warriors, you figure it out. Maybe you find yourselves down. You adjust in the second half. You turn it around. They just couldn't seem to get themselves on the same page. Well, Montrez Harrell basically is a more athletic Draymond Green on that. He's their Draymond Green, right? Right? Mm -hmm. except without the mileage on his body. So he's younger, a little more athletic, a little more yep. springs. That's their, that was their problem, and Lou Williams is going to make shots. You're used to that. You're not expecting Harold to go 11 for 14 or whatever it was and getting in that dunker spot and kicking out to shooters and everything else. That's not what, It's not a matter of preparation or X's and O's. They just didn't feel, I won't say they didn't feel like it. They couldn't muster up the intensity the way That's that the Clippers what it was. Is. This is the problem. When you start an athletic competition, you can't turn the switch on once the game has started. And from the beginning, the Clippers were in an all-out attack mode. They got a great game plan, but the overall, how they're going to defend and how they're going to go with the Warriors, you have to turn that switch on before the competition starts. If you got better talent, if you try to do that once the game starts, it's too late because your body, your mind already knows you've given me, you told me, man, this is going to be easy. Clay has started talking about it, man. The, 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 the Rockets, man, they want another chance at us. They had already looked beyond that. When the series is going to start with the Rockets and in pro sports, and you don't give that opposition the credit that they deserve. That's when upsets occur. Now, from a, from a credit standpoint, let's give KD credit. Because he, he was the only one that had a championship mindset. It was extraordinary. Played over 40 minutes, was amazing offensively, played hard on the defensive end. KD was ready to play last night. The rest of the Warriors weren't. Man, you tell me that KD's going to go for 45 and the Warriors are going to turn the ball over eight times. Not only do they win, they cover the 15 with ease. It's not like say, Steph and Clay combined for 46, so that's slightly below what their averages on the season are, but not drastically below. They, so Steph, KD, and Clay combined for 91 points, and they don't have a turnover problem, and they lose. That is a team that is unable right now to flip a switch defensively, and that's a concern. And also, folks aren't scared of Oracle anymore. And that has been an enormous edge for mm -hmm. them. They, are, they weren't scared of it during the regular season. And the Clippers haven't been scared of it during this playoff. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from First Things First. Or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.